Hey guys, Infidel1258 here. This one is just a members only video. I haven't done one in a while. It's kind of a tip or a trick and I'm, I, I hope you guys already recognize what I'm about to share with you. So maybe this is old news, but in case you don't, I think this is a really important message for you members to be able to see. If you're a landholder and you haven't claimed and you're waiting to survey, I think you need to be really attentive over the next few days to opportunities that are gonna arise and I think I was talking with one of the one of the time and attention guys who has a tract or maybe more than one tract. And he, you know, when, when you have a tract, you know you're going to get a, a keep. But that is a one in 10 chance of a castle. And you actually can narrow those odds. You can make that a better percentage play. You can actually rig the deck. And so I think if you're paying attention, there's a real multiplier for you in front of you. If you're really paying attention, whether it's you have a tract that you're going to claim and you're looking for that castle or whether you even have a single plot and you want that to turn into a keep or a legendary or a magical or whatever the case may be you can you can rig the deck i don't know if you know this but pay attention for five ten minutes here and and just look for these opportunities in your own situation um so let's say you got one plot of land you can see that if you come to praetoria in the map the land map you can see that the next plot is available in 102 track 10 and plot 59 plot 59 tells me that 58 plots have already been handed out in that tract which means that more than half of the tr plots in that tract have been handed out now that doesn't mean necessarily they've all been surveyed so this is this probably means that 60 59 percent of the plots have been uh claimed that might that leans towards probability being high that the that the keep has been identified but we can check we can we can go into 102 on the map and we can check and and we can ascertain whether that keep or castle has been has been found and so this is the full region of 102 um and we are i think we're in here yep yeah, because there's some blanked out spots this is probably where we are right now Let's see here. Yeah, this is 102. So 102 is where we're at. 102, did we say, hang on, I, I wanna make, make sure I'm giving clear advice here. I'm gonna go back to Praetoria. So 102 track 10. Okay, we gotta look for 10. So 102, 1026, 1027. 1024, 1025, 1022, 1210. So, okay, we're in this location right now. We're in this blocked out bar. This is where we're claiming if we have a plot. And we can go in here and we can go through rarity. You can, you can, let's say you're looking, you're trying to optimize your opportunities for legendaries. Legendary plus is, is going to include your mythicals. We're in this location, so the mythical has not been claimed. Right in the in the in the track that we're currently claiming, the mythical, which is your keep or your castle, has not been claimed. So that means you have an opportunity with one plot to get a keep, not maybe a castle. It depends. If I go like this, I remove that, and I go into kingdom under land type, you can actually click on castle. So the castle has been identified in this region. Therefore, there's no more opportunity to get a castle here. If you're claiming a, tr a tract, a full tract in here, I wouldn't want to because that ca castle has been identified, meaning you as a new tract holder will not have an opportunity, have a zero probability of getting a castle. You want to at least have one, an opportunity for that. So um, there's two different directions of advice. If you don't, if you have a tract, you want to make sure that the castle has not been claimed. You can ascertain th that by using this map. If you have one single plot, you want to make sure that the keep has not been claimed in the in the track that's currently handing out. So again, on right now at the time of recording in Kithden, which is 102 region 102 track 10, the uh, despite the fact that 58 plots have been handed out or claimed, the keep has not been identified. Now, it would be better if the castle had not been identified because you as a single plot holder would have even more odds, right? You'd have an, one plot could turn into a castle, which would be absolutely wild. And as you know, as uh, we can go a bit further in the conversation, you can look and say, okay, all, and if we remove our filters, so 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven of the tracks are either completely claimed and surveyed or mostly claimed and surveyed, which means that <clears throat> you have a long time. We have 100, 200, 300, 400 plots of land to go before we're going to see roughly where we can before we're going to move into as a one plot buyer into the next region. So it's going to take a while. It might take a while for that next region to be activated for a one plot buyer and for a tracked buyer. That means so for the one plot holder now is a really unique opportunity because between now and probably later today, somebody's going to find a keep within the last 40 plots that are available that are unsurveyed in here. And you can refresh to make sure you got up to date data. But again, if we go into, let's see, rarity and we go, not rarity, we go land type, we go kingdom, we keep, it's, yeah, it's not been claimed. And I'm just going to make sure this is 102.10. Yeah, it's not been claimed. And so for that reason, it makes a lot of sense to think about claiming one plot either now or as this number grows. And you can, you can, you might wait, you might say, oh, I'm going to wait and see what happens in the next 10 plots. And maybe you're going to improve your odds, right? Because if 10 plots get activated, claimed and surveyed, and they don't end up being that keep, you have even greater odds. As this number gets closer and closer to 99 or 100, you get even greater odds if that keep still remains to a point where it's almost a certainty. Once it's at 99 and you're the last claimer, you are going to get a keep. But what are the odds of that happening? And what are the odds of you seeing it right at that moment and being able to be the guy who activates and surveys at that moment? But if you do, this is how you can rig the deck. And the same is true. This is how I'm explaining how it would work best for you as a plot holder, but it absolutely is true for a keep uh, for a tract holder too. Like I said, in 102, the region has already identified its castle. When you are unlocking a, a, a full tract, you have an opportunity for that. If we look over here and we see the next tract available is in 110. So we can go over to 110 and we can we can explore whether 110 has found its 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 castle. So you go again into I think it was yeah, land type, and you go kingdom, and you go castle. The castle has not been activated. And we can go further and we can say, we can say back up here. So this is in 110. In 110, we're already filling tract three as a full tract, which means that tracks one and two have been either partially or fully, I guess, devoted or, or committed. That means that you, there are, and I saw one, if we go back into 110, I saw one of them was a keep. Like this one's been fully handed out. It looks like this one's being started and it, and I don't think it's been at fully activated. But again, land type, let's go ca keep. We have one keep that's been handed out. Out of the 10 castles or keep, like the, in, in every region, you're gonna have nine keeps in one castle. One of your keeps is gone, meaning that activating the next tracked in here would give you a one in nine chance at a castle as opposed to a one in 10 on a brand new region. And so when you monitor this data, when you, when you look at what's available here and you, and you, and you use the map Intel, you can unpack greater and worse opportunities. You can navigate between optimal opportunities and maybe bad opportunities like in some situations there is no keep left why would you claim one plot there in some situations there's no castle left why would you claim a tract there this is something you actually can put some homework into some time and attention into and actually find a, a greater probability of massive returns because if you turn a, a keep into a castle you're talking going from like a four thousand dollar value to like a fifty thousand dollar value and so this is so important and I would argue that for the next two, three days, this is going to be uniquely important. And so I'm going to leave it there, but drop comments below on if this is valuable, valuable to you. I think in a few days, maybe even in two days, I am going to put this public. So I encourage you guys to take action on this and, and make this uh, something you're prioritizing. Thanks so much. And and before I go, just since I'm, I'm expecting that I'll make this public to some, to the full broader community in the next couple of days, I just want to say to anybody that's still listening to this video, if you're not supporting the members only on my YouTube, this sort of content is something I do from time to time. And, uh, these sorts of opportunities are they have a they have a a unique moment where they are 
pronounced. And so if you want that sort of access to that sort of content, you want to be present during live conversations where I answered my members only questions and comments, then consider supporting the YouTube channel at whatever membership level you, you, you deem fit. Thanks so much. Oh, and one more thing, new way to support my member or my channel financially to give, put some value into my pocket without taking any out of yours is checking out the Amazon links, affiliate links in the description, because when you either buy the objects that I really like that I've put in there, there's two that I've put in there right now, or if you go through those links and then end up buying something, I think within the next few minutes, um, it ends up giving me a certain commission and it's no extra cost to you. So please, if you're already buying things through Amazon, follow my affiliate link and make the purchase that way. So again, no punishment, no, no penalty, no extra cost to you, but I get a little something. All right, I'll leave it there. Thanks a lot. Have an amazing day. God bless.